Today we're cutting firewood. Hello, I'm Griff Rees, welcome to Gwynny Griffin. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now today, we're at the firewood stack and we're cheating a bit because we've got this machine in to do the job. Now this bit of firewood, it's nice and seasoned. It's been uh, a good couple of months and it's time to get that in, cut up ready for the season. So, that tops all works off the tractor, PTO driven, it's got hydraulics, the endo operate, the belt, and I think Melvin and Romek will do quick work of this stack. So, nothing left to do it, then I'll watch the top saw in action. First bit done, easy job with the tools. They're still at it, so I'm gonna go pack some orders and we'll come back and see how they're doing.
Well, that's it, all finished. And the guys made quick work of that job. Lovely piles, big stuff. Back there, bring the, the wood splitter in now in the next couple of days. And up here, I had five old IBC crates. And we filled that as well. Now, you can't get fuel more sustainable than that. Most of this wood is from within a mile of the farm here. The tree grows, you cut the bit down, you trim them back, and then you burn it, the ash goes back in the ground, then that tree grows again. There's no need to bore into the center of the earth to pull coal or oil out. That is a natural renewable energy, which we heat our home up. We heat the, the heating with it, and the hot water as well, so very, very sustainable. So we're pretty much as eco, uh, as eco or green as we can be at the minute. We've got solar panels on the roof. Click the link for there to see how that works on our farm. And then we use the wood to heat the radiators and the hot water. So we tend not to use hardly any fossil fuel. We have got an oil a boiler backup, but in the winter we do rely on the wood. And we have easily got between all the wood we can see in the field here, this will do us comfortably. Uh, maybe for two, win for two winters, hopefully. So very, very pleased with that. Well, that's it for this video. I'm gonna put those IBC crates in the shed using the tractor, get them dry, because I think in a month or so we'll be burning them. This wood is seasoned, it's been down a while. Just got to get the water off these logs and they'll be good to go. Yeah, I want to do that before I lose any light. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.